I'm throwing out the second half of this. The first half was so salty, I actually feel nauseous. Um, this, there's something wrong with the salt content of this. Um, I don't throw food in the bin often, but this, whatever filling is in this, is so salty. It is inedible, and I'm getting rid of it. It's just, I just can't, I can't eat it. My stomach's already cramping up. I'm probably may even just complain to the manufacturer. This is just so bad. Just salty, salty, salty. Um, yeah. I would really, really not buy this product never, till they fix it. You never throw out food. No, it's never. This is really one. rare. How did we end up here? How did we end up with me, the person who eats practically anything, throwing out food? What could be so bad that it could do this to me? What could be so bad that I'd end up here? in a place I never wanted to be doing something I never wanted to do. This is the story of how I ended up throwing out half a sandwich. Welcome to Bad Food Blog, and this one's gonna be fun. Look at it. Plant Garlic Kiev. So they're not chicken Kievs, they're plant garlic Kievs. Contains 13% protein, and I'm gonna be having them in this roll. Going to be cooking them as per the instructions. Let's see what we got going on here. They do look like normal chicken Kievs. Let's have a look. Where are the instructions? Congratulations. By choosing this product, you have just done your body, the planet, and animals a big favor. Want to know more? No, I don't. Yummies. Okay, cherry tomatoes. Oh, there's serving suggestions. Good for you. Um, oh, how to cook. Here we are. Come on, get in focus. There we go. Preheated oven at 220... 225? That's max on my oven. Okay. Well, you can do them in a pan? For eight minutes? Right, I'm going to put them in the oven. This, ten, this kind of thing doesn't tend, really tend to do well in a pan. Also, that's going to mean adding a lot of fat to it. Which the idea is I'm trying to be healthy here. I'm losing weight. I am actually losing weight. I've lost eight kilos since July. Oh, look, the inside's got loads of stuff on it. Trays are made from recycled plastics. Our trays are made from 100% recycled bottles. That's cool. Feels like a normal plastic tray. Is it made from PET1? Yeah, it is. By the way, this isn't a recycle symbol. A lot of people get this wrong. This little symbol here just tells you what type of plastic it is. It's nothing to do with recycling. You can look that up. It looks like a recycling symbol, but the number inside, it literally is telling you what type of plastic it is. And only sell a few of the types of plastics. Now PET type one for polymer, because this is a polymer symbol, it represents different polymers. They are recyclable. Right? Type 1 is recyclable. Hard to recycle, but you can recycle it. But there are like 16 of these different symbols, and they, they purposely, the plastic industry purposely chose something that looks like the recycling symbol, and it has nothing to do with recycling. I thought that was fairly amusing, because it's like, um, it's co-opting in the worst way, right? Now, I'm not, I'm not an eco-mentalist guy. I will do what I think is right. And what I think is right is, yeah, where possible using recycled materials is a good idea. And where possible and where mandated, I recycle when I can. But, the problem is that the plastic industry wants you to think all plastics can be recycled by using a lovely little symbol, which looks like a recycling symbol, which has nothing to do with recycling. I will put a link to an article explaining that in the video description because not a lot of people are gonna believe me. And when I first heard of it, I read it up and I was I was absolutely sure it was rubbish as well. It turned out to be 100% true and I was, whoa, I'm shocked. So there we go. This, both of these will go into recycling. I can't tell which way up this is supposed to go. I'm gonna stick with that. Let's pop it in the oven. See what we're getting on with. So the oven is up to temperature. You have to be very careful putting it in. Sorry, that cable's from my lighting. 
Anyhow, there we go. We'll come back when it's fully cooked. So, what we've got now is apparently it's done. It's had just about 10 minutes. I've let it go a minute over because I didn't like, it didn't look very brown. I don't know, it still doesn't look very brown. It smells done. It's making the right noises. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a probe in. We're going for the probe there. Right. I don't care if you're made of vegetables or you're made of... Look. What's the central temperature? Mm, 60 degrees centigrade. Another three minutes. I don't care what you're made of. If you're made of vegetables and you're filled with cheese, you should reach at least 70 degrees centigrade. We'll hold off on that. Okay, it's a couple of minutes later and I think we're just about the right temperature now. I'm just not gonna eat something that's, you know, barely 60 degrees centigrade in the middle. A Little bit browner, a little bit more healthy sounding. I never like anything that says it cooks in 10 minutes because invariably it never does. I think manufacturers have this drive to say, you know, food manufacturers say, oh, it cooks in 10 minutes, buy this one. If you're picking up two items, you go, oh, this one cooks in 12 minutes, this one cooks in 10, I'll buy the one that cooks in 10. I often think the one that cooks in 10 minutes is lying. Ergo, this one, which was never gonna cook in 10 minutes. Right, there, there, leave them to cool down for a bit. And now, part two of this, I guess it's putting them in the, in the roll. I don't know why I decided to have a roll. Maybe I shouldn't have cut the whole thing. Actually, maybe I need to, they're pretty long. Now the question is, what kind of sauce am I gonna have them with? Now they come with a sauce inside them, so I thought maybe the chipotle sauce or the sa the, the um the what are they, what is it called sriracha sauce I might go for the sriracha actually because they've got sauce inside them see I worry about this anything you can take out the oven and almost immediately handle Ugh. I might want to cut them and then Turn it around the other, yeah. I'm gonna cut that, turn it around the other way. Okay. See what it's like inside, shall we? Yeah. I was expecting it to be like a chicken Kiev and stuff come gushing out of it, but no. There's a little bit of garlic stuff in there and what we're seeing is a lot of fake cheese. Well, well we're at it. Let's break a bit off and see what it tastes like. Here's what it looks like, very anemic. Well, it's garlicky and tastes like bread. Mm. And it's quite dry. Mm. Now, that tastes as meant. I'm going for the chipotle sauce. rather than the sriracha sauce. If it had been very juicy and filled with garlic, salt, butter, I'd have been going for the other sauce, but. And there we go. Well, that's too big for me to handle, so. We'll give this a cut down the middle. So, so I got two sandwiches to grab hold of. There we go. It's a bit more reasonable, isn't it? Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Nice. Mmm. Yeah, that works as a sandwich. Mmm. I like a spicy and garlicky chicken and scallop sandwich. Mmm. I like it. Mmm. I'll be buying these again. They're a bit salty though. Very salty. What is the salt content? 1.5 grams per 100 grams, that's why, jeez. Okay, 
Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video. And if you're not a member, please consider subscribing. Tara for now. Bye. So here we are, back where it all started, back where this whole story started. <sighs> I wish I'd done some things differently, but we all have to live with our mistakes. It is inedible, and I'm getting rid of it. It's just, I just can't.